Hey guys, Young here from Advanced Property Strategies, and today we're going to talk about good and bad money habits. I'm out with Viv Halliday. Viv, you want to say hello? Hi. We're talking about habits, the reason it came up was uh, we're just driving back from site, heading back home. It's roughly nearly one o'clock, and I drove a particular way. Long story short, is I used to drive a particular road. That road got blocked off because there was a lot of roadworks, and I came in that way but I exited a different way. My point is sometimes you know, we're not even aware of the habits that we have, whether it's with money, with, with diet. I had a joke with a guy today about having uh, less beers. And we talk about habits, but we've all got good habits and I'm, I'm sure we've all got bad habits, um, whether it's swearing or whatever it is, spending money. But um, coming back to money, like what are some of your bad habits and what are some of your good habits? I know that people, um, in terms of bad habits, some of them can be you buy depreciating assets or you borrow to buy depreciating assets. For example, a lot of people still even now, um, they use credit cards to buy clothes that depreciate, uh, use credit cards or credit to buy cars that depreciate because they don't have the cash or they choose not to use the cash. Who knows, but most of the time it's because they don't have the cash to be able to buy the cars and pay cash. So yeah, what are your, some of your financial bad habits and what are some of your financial good habits. Viv, throw it over to you. So, like, I'm actually a little bit tight. So I didn't want to go and buy myself a new camera the other day because I just didn't think that, you know, like, I deserved it, I think. So that was one of my bad habits. So I just went, oh, I'm actually going to get some value out of this. So I went and bought it. But I have got money habits that I've worked on for a while to make sure that everything's automated. So it's a little bit harder for me to you know, cheat myself and spend where I shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, so one of the things I've uh, done post GFC, because pre GFC, I reckon I had 10, if not 12 credit cards. I had Aussie, Macquarie, NAB, CBA, ANZ, you name it, I had it. And when you're in the GFC and you're doing no money down deals, it was um, very much squeezing every line of credit that I had, but that was definitely a bad habit. So I've gone to a, a debit card system, so I don't have any credit cards at all, and I've gone to a debit card system which allows me to restrict the amount of uh, weekly spend that I have. And, and yeah, I know, yes, we are wealthy, we've got good passive income, etc., etc., but it doesn't mean that the bad habits go away. You've got, you got to really essentially just set yourself up for success. Um, I do like to spend cash as opposed to cards, so oftentimes I'll put cash uh, in my phone or in my wallet, um, and that'll limit me on how much cash that I spend. So those things, like having a safety mechanism, like a debit card system or a, a cash system, can really work. I know obviously we're going away from cash, but I'm sure if you go to a coffee shop, they're not gonna knock you back. So I think other things for us is when we buy vehicles, uh, we don't, um, use credit to buy vehicles, we don't use debt to buy vehicles, we, if we don't have the cash necessarily, and we're talking about five years ago, 10 years ago, if you don't have the cash um, to pay cash for a fifty, hundred thousand dollar car, then you really can't afford it. But not everybody's the same, I'm just saying in my circumstances, that's what I've done. It allows me to borrow more from the banks as well because I've got less personal debt. Uh, any other comments from you, Viv, about um, you know, good money habits, bad money habits? Yeah, I like the cash idea. That's what mine are. The debit cards I put X amount in each each week or each fortnight. Um, it's a good way to control because, like, if you're not watching it, it's, it's, it's there an old saying, I think, you know, like it's penny wise and pound foolish or something. Um, and that's what you've got to be. Like Those little bits actually add up, you know. So I think if you look after the little bits, um, it certainly helps. But, um, yeah, habits, I think, maybe making a budget even and keeping track of things like that. Um, or exercise, like I know that if I don't do my exercise, you know, like I, I, everything else falls apart. So just making sure that, you know, you get up and put your shoes on before you have too much time to think about it, that sort of thing. Yeah, that's it. And, and turn it into a positive habit. For example, even on Saturdays, go and look at open homes. For me personally, in my 20s and 30s, I did that a lot, even though I don't do that necessarily much now because I don't need to. I've got teams that do that um, and have those relationships with agents. My point is going out of a morning, putting into your diary between the times of 9 and 12, going to look at open homes, just getting amongst it, uh, 
talking to owners, talking to real estate agents and getting amongst it. So you know, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Oftentimes, you know, people in their 30s or 20s right now, they're having trouble to buy a house because houses are so expensive. But I bet you if you look at their general financial habits, um, how much of them are saving at least 20, 30, 50% of their income. I remember when I was in my 20s and 30s, you know, I put as much cash away as I could you're really wanting to be spend less than you earn and saving and saving and saving because it's a really good habit so that when you've got you know 500 grand extra equity a million bucks plus extra equity you know, you're spending less than what you're earning and you're putting it into other assets which are producing more income for you versus blowing it on you know another unoccupied house or another three cars or another boat jet ski there's nothing wrong with having those toys but having your assets pay for those toys and making it uh, grow long term. So that's me signing off. Thanks for the chat today, guys. Hope you're getting value. Young Young from S Property Strategies. See you another time.